What's up, Gary Game Peeps? Padawans, welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a beverage, hot or cold, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. And then enjoy another one of my past Yodaisms written over the course of uh, 30 plus years from Way Back Wisdom Wednesday. It's back once again, like always, uh, for Way Back Wisdom Wednesdays to share with you. Uh, this particular Yodaism that was written over the course of a week, week and a half, maybe less than, depending how focused I was. It was posted on Monday, September 21st, 2009. And it uh, this particular Yodaism is titled, Hope Floats. And here's the backstory. Um, it, the idea was, uh, uh, for, the, for this uh, particular Yodaism, came about as I was watching a rerun of the movie Hope Floats. Um, starring Sandra Bullock and Harry Connick Jr. and um, yeah, and it, it it sort of inspired this Yodaism. It doesn't directly correlate to the movie itself, but before heading into the Yodaism itself, as I share with you um, all that I wrote about it, um, the usual five paragraphs. Um, go ahead if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel and all its uh, reaction videos and whatnot, and drawing videos and and my YG Anime channel for all things anime. Um, if you either like either content for either channel, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And oh, uh, just one more thing, uh, tip of the hat to you, to my newest subscribers. I just noticed um, my subscribership just went up a bit. Uh, so, uh, high five, fist tap, we'll hold off on the celebratory uh, uh, Balky Bartokamos uh, uh, and Larry app on Dats of Joy until we get to 250. Um, uh, that's up to you guys, uh, to get me to 250 or, or to get the channel, uh, to at least to, uh, at least to 50. Or, and then we'll get into, um, 260 on the road to 300. And it's all up to you guys. In any case, with that said, let's get into the Yorism, uh, entitled Hope Floats. All right, here we go. Someone once said, love comes to those who still hope even though they've been disappointed, to those who still believe even though they've been betrayed, to those who still love even though they've been hurt before. If you think about it, hope is something that people sometimes don't necessarily hold on to, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Essentially, hope and love are synonymous with each other as you can easily, easily give up on it because of bad past relationship experiences or keep holding on to it knowing true happiness you most definitely deserve will come to fruition. For it's a tough and frustrating situation indeed for those to still have hope when they've experienced constant disappointment from guys slash girls who metaphorically drain not only the hope within their heart but the love as well. Let me ask you this question to those that seemingly face disappointment time and time again. Have you personally given up hope and one day finally experiencing true happiness. You see, it's difficult for any person to keep the bright light of hope in one's own heart uh, from being in all intents and purposes extinguished and avoided having it sinking into the dark despair of anger, bitterness, sadness, confusion, loneliness, etc. Yet, it's those unfortunate past relationships that gradually flicker the light within your heart to the point where it nearly or possibly has gone completely out, but it has inevitably led you to someone special has given you a newfound hope. A newfound hope in which it always burns brightly, never to sink into the utter darkness where past heartbreaks that left hurtful scars are now healed by the shining warmth of his slash her love. Without a doubt, there are those that are living the single life who hold on to the hope of one day finally experiencing true happiness. They have this unwavering belief that going through the unwanted pain and heartbreak was all worth it as each one of them hopes he slash she meets someone who can look him slash her in the eyes and make him slash her truly believe there's an absolute strong bright future for the two of you. However, there are those who unfortunately are losing slash have lost their grip on the innate hope of someday finding love that is honestly genuine. Thinking about it, there comes a point where a person doubts as to whether or not to keep holding on to the hope of love slash true love, gradually leading to the notion that it was merely fleeting up because it became physically, mentally, and emotionally tiresome, causing one to make the painful decision to let go. 
for the question can be asked to those who are hopeful instead of hopeless. What has continually kept your hopes high in meeting that certain someone who will spend the rest of their days with? For some, most, or all people, it's their faith in God as they pray to Him in order for their prayers of a wonderful life of joy, happiness, and contentment to be fulfilled. As it's been said many times before, it's just a matter of patience and timing as you spiritually read the Word of God for guidance when there is inner turmoil going on within your heart. What it primarily comes down to is letting go of the hope you have as you trust in yourself to make love slash true love happen for you and instead hold on to the hope in what God can do when it comes to the love you're deserving of all the while completely letting go as you trust in Him that He is guiding you to miss slash Mr. Right or vice versa. And finally, actor Josh Hartnett said, Hope is the most exciting thing in life, and if you honestly believe that love is out there, it will come. And even if it doesn't come straight away, there is still that chance all through your life that it will. In retrospect, the hope of falling in love can, move, can get anyone excited, and even though it may not be happening for you right now, um, you pray to God in hopes that it will. Personally speaking, as much as I'm a cynic when it concerns love slash true love, I continue to pray to God that he sends me a very special lady who will, I will fall excitedly in love with for a lifetime. In the end, if you don't put all your faith in God, then the hopes of a bright future of love slash true love will slip completely out of sight into darkness. But ultimately, hope floats for those who set both their heart and eyes on him, giving way to a full life full of pure, loving excitement. All right, there you go, Gary Gang Peeps, Padawans of Yodism, entitled Hope Floats, inspired by the movie itself, starring Sandra Bullock and um, Eric Conner Jr. Um, thoughts, musings, hated like it, dislike it, indifferent about it, whether it be the Yodism itself or the uh, movie. And I know, um, I sort of, I kind of liked it. Um, well, it was a, it was one. It's a, it was a really um, interesting movie, heartfelt. Uh, had a, impactful moments, one of them being the daughter trying to um, uh, go with a father um, who, uh, in a sense, ba abandoned uh, them. And uh, it was kind of heart-wrenching seeing her trying to go with her father, but um, the, the father was not having it. And uh, it was up to uh, Sandra Bullock to just um, pick up the pieces. And, uh, yeah, in any case... Uh, I'm not going to dive in, delve into um, what my favorite parts are, but um, that was one of my uh, 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 memorable moments watching that movie. But in any case, um, what are your thoughts? Like I said, share your thoughts on this particular Yodaism or the movie itself, whatever the case may be. Uh, but yeah, uh, does it, uh, when it comes to hope in matters of the heart, true love, love, um, do, do you believe in hope when it comes to um uh, having that hope of experiencing true happiness and what and um, finding your forever best friend and uh, if you don't have any hope or whatsoever um, you've lost that hope but uh, just uh, share your thoughts uh, and um, and hope you enjoyed for those watching uh, my latest uh, Yodaism for Way Back Wisdom Wednesday and if you enjoyed this uh, this this particular Yodaism and any other past Yodaism, way back, Yodaisms for Way Back Wisdom Wednesday, or any other of my content for that matter for Inner Sanctum, or my YG Anime channel for all things anime, um, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel, um, yeah, for either channel, um, like if you enjoyed it, uh, awesome, if you don't, I can't do anything for you, uh, I'm not going to force you to like them, just, in any case, just, uh, 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 just uh, uh, as long as you come back and uh, and uh, watch and uh, click on any vid video for that matter. In any case, if um, with that said, um, hope to see you again for another way uh, round of way back wisdom Wednesdays. Share with share with you another past Yodas and with the course of 30, 35, 40 plus years. And with that said, I tip my hat to you and may the force be with you guys. Later.